Hey y'all, so, okay, first of all, it's Sunday, March 17th. I am back from our family trip that we take every year, our little annual birthday family trip that we do. First things first, um, I just want to say thank God for a safe trip. A wonderful and safe trip there and back. Oh, I had a really good time. I had a good birthday. It was decent. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, you know, it was decent. Um, this year, I didn't really want to do too much for my birthday. Because, y'all know, usually for my birthday, I take a bunch of pictures. I get all done up, makeup. I didn't want to do that this year. And, you know, and I really, I really don't know why, to be honest. Like, well, first of all, I felt... Even though I was prepared for the trip, I felt unprepared because, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, you know what it, I, no, I don't, I don't want to say this is one of the reasons, but I feel like it could be one of the reasons. I, cause I really don't know. I just didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like, like I, I played it really chill this year. I didn't wear any heels. Y'all know me. I would, like, get all done, you know, have my little wigs and stuff going or my hair done, do my makeup and stuff everywhere I go and whatnot. But I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't want to do none of that. I didn't. And I feel like one of the, well, one of the reasons is just I feel like I'm getting older and a lot of stuff I don't really have interest in no more. Like, in the past two years, I don't wear makeup as much as I used to. I don't. I don't wear makeup as much as I used to. Like, think about, honestly, the only time y'all will really see me done up is if I'm probably on a date with Shavon. And it's just me and him. But, like, it has to be, like, as a really special occasion. Even for my birthday, look at this. <laughs> Even for my birthday, I didn't, I didn't do what I normally do. Like, if it's my, if, if this year was my 30th birthday, my 30th. I didn't really want to do none of that. I didn't. Like, I usually, like, have my fit you know, put together. So, honestly, I was looking for a birthday dress before this trip. And I could not find the one I wanted. And I think, after that, oh, oh. I'm, I'm tired, y'all. I am. But, um, I've been up all day. But, um, yeah, I couldn't find the one I wanted. And I just... I was just like, because eh. at first I was going to do like a little photo shoot in the house with like some balloons and whatnot. You know, I had like a look I had in my head. But after a while, I just scrapped it. I was just like, mm, what's the point? I don't know. I look cock at it because I'm looking at the other end of the phone instead of the camera right here. So, because I don't feel comfortable looking at a dot. I don't feel comfortable looking at that. I like looking at myself in the phone. So if I look cock at it, y'all, oh, I do look cock at it. Oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let me look. Let me look this way, cause that's weird. But it's because I'm the camera's right here, and I'm looking there at myself. So, but anyway, um, yeah. So I didn't. I don't know. I just didn't really want to do too much. And I feel like another reason is is because my boyfriend actually went on this trip. And when I'm around him, I don't have to try hard. Meaning, like, I don't have to dress up. I don't like. I only really dress up if we're going like if we it's a, if it's date night for us. But I was around my family and he was there and you know I just mm, I don't know I don't, I didn't feel like I had to do all that. I just I didn't care to do none of that at the other stuff. So, but anyway, I had a really good birthday. Um, it was fun. Definitely have to do it again soon because we really did enjoy this. This this trip was it was prepared correctly. It was well thought out. We had fun. Like it was very fun. And I'm just glad we had extra people people come with us. My sister's um stepdaughter came, my boyfriend came, and Quincy, y'all know Jill and Mia's friend, he came again. So we we had we really had a good time. Like and I like the fact that it was more people there this time, so that's good. Um also in my, one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I had something. I had good news on the job um, coming, and it actually came. So I had got a promotion. 
Um, I've been offered a promotion and I accepted it. I start March 24. And y'all know the other good news that I made prisoners list, which I already told y'all. But um, yeah, so I will be a team lead for the shipping department. Um, but yeah, I accepted the offer and I start on the 24th. I'm nervous because I do not know anything about shipping, but that's what training is for. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know nothing about it. So yeah, it's new for me. And then on top of that, I was also like skeptical because I wanted to stay up under my current boss, my supervisor, which was Eric. I love Eric to pieces and I didn't really want to switch, but that's what happens when, you know, you move up, things change. So yes, I got the promotion. Um, also, school is going good. Um, I really don't really have any complaints. Um, trying to see what else. I think that's it. And also, before I close out this video, um, while I was out of town, the day after my birthday, I found out that an old co-worker I used to, that I loved dearly, and that I was close to, like, I've worked with her, uh, I want to say probably like a good five, five years, five plus years, or five and a half years, I worked with her. Um, no, I didn't. It wasn't five years. I want to say probably, well, well, yeah, now it's been five years, but at the time, it wasn't. But um, anyway, I've worked with her for a few amount of years, and she recently passed away. I used to call her Aunt Pat, but also used to call her Miss Pat. Um, if y'all ever heard my daddy mention her in one of his videos, that she was an older woman that he worked that worked at the hotel with him, that's who that I'm referring to. Um, she passed away Tuesday. I did not take it well. First of all, I'm not a crier. If anybody knows me personally, I do not cry like that. I whine all day. I even, I sometimes, I probably lie and told you I cried. Like, if it's like, if I, if I'm on the let me rephrase before. Let's get it. I probably tell y'all, like, oh, girl, I was about to cry when I thought I heard. If I ever say that, like, I didn't cry. But this one, like, it hit, it hit differently. And, my brother and my daddy told me a day after my birthday while we was on the trip. And I, I felt like, because she, she knew what was about to happen. And she begged my daddy not to tell me. So, it just, yeah, I didn't I didn't take well. My boyfriend knew her as well. Because I remember me and him met at the hotel. So, he knew who she was. He knew Miss Pat, too. And I just, I just want to say, Miss Pat, you know, was a wonderful employee a older woman that you know i admired and respected um i noticed i've always had at any job that i was on i was always close to someone that's older than me i was always like you know close like at that same job it was irada and miss pat that i was really tight with real close and then at my current job it's my supervisor eric and then the shipping supervisor miss christine and you know they're in there like late 40s early 50s 60s you know up in that area and it's just i've always been close to like old people like that like where they really they really love me and i love them and it didn't hit me hard i didn't ugh. yeah i didn't i didn't take that news well so and she died from i don't know what type of cancer cancer she had but she had cancer and they're doing her funeral next Saturday. I called my former um, manager, which is already the one I mentioned. Her and Miss Pat were like best friends. They talked every day. And she didn't take it well either. Me and her talked on the phone. We were both a mess, crying and stuff. And it, it was horrible. They're having her funeral next Saturday. I know I will not be able to go because one, I just came back from vacation. And then I won't have any time left to cover. So, I know, I know, well, y'all could use bereavement. I can't. It's just because I can't be, I can't miss two weekends like that back to back because we've been so busy. So, I can't go. I already know. It. They're not going to let me off. I already know it. So, but I just want to say rest in peace, Miss Pat. Like, just thinking about it. I, I'm trying not to cry now because just thinking about it just. 
it's, it's, it's almost like it's unreal. Like, I knew she was sick, but I didn't expect, you know, I didn't expect to be soon. And I, I didn't want it to be real. I didn't. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.